Why stay local? local? From the clubs to the radio to the streets. When you can go global. We are the all new B100 World Hit Radio. What's going on, B100 World Hit Radio family? Now, I warned you guys a little bit earlier that I had a very special guest who's going to be in the building with me today. And she has arrived, and she is beautiful. <laughs> Miss Crystal Marie, Thank how are you, you, Crystal? Hey, you guys. How are you? How are you? We're doing, we're doing good. So, um, Crystal, mm-hmm. I know you from Baller Wise, yes. right? And you're also the ex. Uh, very, very Armstrong. Yes, I right? am. <laughs> but I wanted to, I wanted you to, well, I wanted this interview to focus more on, you know, we're going to talk about that. That's fine. But, but I wanted to, I wanted everybody to get to know you first, right? Let's so who was a Crystal Marie outside of Baller Wives and all of this TV stuff? Yes. Like, who is Crystal Marie from the beginning? Uh, well, first, I'm a mother. Mother first, always. Um, I'm a teacher as well. I work at an elementary school. Well, I was working at an elementary school for a long long time now. I love children. Um, I'm very busy doing a lot of different things now as far as like um, with my daughter, just traveling, you know, just making sure that we just, you know what I'm saying, just live life. Yeah, absolutely. Now, you talk about being a single mom. Yes. I know that with all of us you have like all these different opportunities coming mm-hmm. out of the woodworks now right. so how do you balance being a single mom with you know it is entertainment so and everything that hard. you have going on right now it's hard mm-hmm. it is very hard it's not easy um but you know what my daughter is what gives me the motivation to keep on going mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying so my my thing is to make sure that i build a foundation for us regardless of me and her you know her father's not together you know it's just to make sure that you know, we try to just live life the best we can as far as like, you know, just making a building a platform for her, a foundation and everything like that. And just like, you know, because it's not easy being a mom, you know, especially when you don't have a lot of family. I don't have a lot of family in um in um, Miami. You know, most of my family is actually here. I'm actually from Augusta, Georgia. Yes, that's a lot of people don't know that. They think because, you know, I grew up in, I, I did grow up in Palm Beach County. I'm going to rep 561 all day. Okay. Yes, got to rep them. <laughs> but, like, um, so I. am a southern girl. I am. <laughs> I definitely am. I'm a Georgia peach still. Okay. Like, and I rep that all the time. But um, I am from Augusta, Georgia. But um, I, I don't have a lot of family here. So most of my family is here. Okay. So when I do do a lot of things, the, the person that really helps me is my mom. Okay. I'm not going to lie. She helps me a lot. My daughter loves her. So, like, you know, for the time the time when I was filming and stuff like that, she was there. She was the one that definitely did help me, you know. But being a single mom definitely has made me stronger. It has opened my eyes to a lot of different things. It has motivated me to be a better person, yeah. you know, um, just, you know, just for my daughter. Because, you know, you just, you see this little person looking back at you and they're like, okay, this is my role model. I have yeah. to look up to this person. And you want to just make sure that you, you know, make the right, you know, decisions as far as that. Because, you know, she's a girl at that. Yeah. She's going to be a woman one day, mm-hmm. you know, and... I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't always at, I wasn't always squeaky clean. You yeah. know, I had. She's not gonna be either. But right. That's exactly. why she has you to exactly. teach her certain things. But my thing is, I don't want her to make the same the same mistakes that I did. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not gonna always call them the mistakes because you know what? I learned from it. Right. You know. So being a single mom is good though. I'm not gonna lie. You know. Um, it just makes I'm a single mom. You it are. Is, it is, it's good, but it's challenging that Very time. Challenging. You know, because they don't understand. They don't. You know, they don't understand that sometimes oh. mommy needs to cry because I'm going through a lot of stuff That's right it. now, and I'm trying to be strong for both of us. So, but then some kids do really understand right. it, and you know, you, you gotta have those you know important talks with your kids. Exactly. And my daughter, she's three, but she's a very advanced three. Mm-hmm. Yes. She's a very, yeah, but she's a very advanced three. Like, mm-hmm. that is my best friend. Like, honestly, we are so attached to each other. It's ridiculous. Like, you know, um, it's just me and her. You know, like, yeah, daddy's are a, all over your eyes. Yeah, listen, that's my that's princess. Like you, listen, yeah. like, she's four, right? I'm not going to even lie to you. Um, but, you know, even though daddy's not there, she's still she's four from him, too. Like, you know, she spends a lot of time with him as well, even though he's in California. Yeah. So, but it's just me and her, so of course, like, you know, she, uh, but she understands, she sees it, she does you know what I'm saying, she sees me working, going to school, you know, she sees me when I'm doing my homework, because I do graduate in December. Congratulations. Hey, yeah. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> I just got so much stuff going on, I'm just like, you know, that's why I said, when you when you said it was very, cha- it's very challenging to be in a single one, it is very challenging, it's yeah. hard, you know, you've got so many different things on your plate, and trying to juggle them all, it's not easy, but you know what, when you actually 
go for it and you actually accomplish all of them, that shit feels so good. It feels so good. It feels amazing. It's so good. It's like, yeah. I did this. I did I'm this. the boss. Yes. Right. So I want you to talk about two moms, one drink. Right? Wait. Two moms, one drink. Yes, on blog. Two moms, one drink. Yes. The blog. Yes. So, you know, what's going on with it? I mean, uh, basically, it did come from me and my friend, Michaela J. Um, we are both single moms. Okay. And um, she has a son. Her son is almost, it's the same age as mine. It's so funny because we were pregnant around the same time. <laughs> um, um, our child's father are actually childhood best friends. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so that's kind of how we met each other. It's a funny okay. story. And um, she's not with her father, her, uh, her child's father either. You know, so we did our share of bashing our baby daddies. Um, you know, that yeah, shit happens. happens. Yeah. <laughs> but it also was a motivation for us, too. Like, you know what? Like, listen, you know what? Friends, we have each other for a reason. Because when we were going through our difficult times, as far as, like, when we were breaking up with our situations, you know, we had each other. Yeah. You know, and, and when I felt like I didn't have anybody to talk to and stuff like that, when I felt like my other friends were just tired of hearing, like, things that I was going through and stuff like that, she was that go-to person, and I was that go-to person for her. And it's like, every single day when we wanted to sit here and just, like, at first, like, you know, I'll be crying one day or, maybe, you know, yeah. something, I just need that push. Yeah. And it's like, we always had each other's back. And there's no time limit right. on how long you're going to go through that. Exactly. So much to have that support system. And the blog is just like, you know, to empower women, to just, you know, just have different things as far as, like, motivational pools, you know, things like, you know, being a mom, like, we have so many things on our plate. We're juggling so many things, like, just five-minute recipes. You know, not even five-minute recipes, just, like, quick recipes, mm -hmm. you know, things to just be on a go. Yeah. It's just going to be a lot of different things. Yeah. You know, hair and beauty. I'm excited All about it. Yeah. When, are, when are we going to launch it? Do you have a date yet? When are we working on it? I'm super excited. You can't tell us. You're looking at your team like. I'm looking at my team like. I can't, I can't do it. I well, well, listen, guys. We got Sue <laughs> Marie in the building from yeah. All The Wise. And guess what? She is launching a vlog Very for soon. us mommies. And I'm pretty excited yes. about it. I'm, I'm super duper excited. But we're going to take a short break. We're going to jump into one song, get into some music, and then we're going to be back with Crystal Marie Baller Wise right here on the All New B100 World Hit Radio. What's going on, B100 World Hit Radio family? We are back with Crystal Marie of Baller Wise. Hey. Got the, you, oh my God. I can't wait for you guys to visually see this video she's absolutely <laughs> thank <stunning>. you <laughs> she is thank gorgeous you. but we're gonna get into baller wives now yes. so we're gonna we're gonna get into baller wives and um i wanted to talk to you about transitioning into reality tv because i see on on the show yes. that you just you're, you're all for women's empowerment right Very you much. want us to stick together Very much. so Reality TV has Girl. a negative connotation to it. So why at this point in your life would you consider doing a reality television show? It was a platform. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to even lie to you. It was a platform and I took, I just took advantage of it. You know, um, it was definitely something that made me step out of my comfort zone. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of private when it comes to like my personal mm -hmm. life, like my personal relationship. A lot of people didn't even know that I was broken up with my child's father until reality, you know, the, the reality show came out. But it was different for me. The whole experience of it, I'm not going to lie, you know, you're always busy. They're like, it's just things that, you know, I find, my, I find myself also doing things that I'm not used to doing as well. Like, you know, I'm, I'm very, I'm cool. Like, I'm chill. I'm that cool friend. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let's get together. Let's go drink. Yeah. Let's go have fun. The fun like, friend. yeah, I'm the fun <laughs> friend. Like, I'm the positive friend. I'm like, you know, that's me. And, like, you know, I was just like going back and forth with these women. And it's just like, oh, God. Yeah. But you know, so it, but I'm not gonna lie. The whole experience of it was definitely fun. I don't regret it. I would de definitely do it again. I, I love it. You know, but um, it was different. It was but what different. was the hardest part about it? What was the hardest part? The hardest part was being honest about my relationship with my child's father, yeah. with Ray. That was hard because it kind of brought me back to everything that's something that I'm, I'm trying to let go and I'm trying to be strong about. Because at the end of the day, you know, everybody knows I still love my child's father. I'm you know, I ask you that. Yeah, I still love him. I mean, I'm happy for. I, you know, I want. I want. We're good as co-parents, mm -hmm. you know, but we don't, we can't be together. You know, and I've accepted that for that. But bringing that to the show and talking about all those different emotions and they're asking all these questions, that was very hard because it's like it opened up a word, the, the can of worms again. So that I was trying to close, you know, but um, it also made me stronger. It also made me see how far I've gotten, you know what I'm saying, the progress from where I was before two years ago when we broke up to how I, where I am now, you know, so it, it was cool though. It was 
so, really cool. So you reminded me of my cell phone day because my friends, yes. they're like, Kiara, we got to get you to start dating. You need a date, girl. And, yes. and, so, and so when Mika was like, Stace, I mean, when she was like, Crystal picks the wrong type of oh guy. She needs to sit down with this other guy. And I'm just like, oh, it sounds like my friends. Girl, oh, my, when I'm ready. So how does that feel, though? Your friends... Pushing you out I, there today. You know what? It, I'm, and I, 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 I like that Miko opened that door for me, honestly, because I'm not gonna lie. If it wasn't for her, honestly, saying that, I'm not gonna lie. I love a dark skin man with dreads. That's my type. That's how she said. <laughs> oh, the one that'll give you a kitty. Like she's crazy, uh, but you know, that's how she said it. But honestly, she's the reason why I even just started. You know, dating other men or talking to other men. But honestly, like I'm just so focused on what I'm doing right now and just starting this blog because I, I really want to do charity events and stuff like that and give back to families like single mothers who don't really have it mm-hmm. you know um so that's why I was just like you know what I'm just gonna put dating to the side for right now even though it's hard because you know yeah. just kind of used to being in a relationship but I've been so busy that it doesn't really bother me as much would you go for another baller you know what Girl, no, I don't want to. Yeah. I'm so over it. I'm just so over it because it's just so much that comes with that. Mm-hmm. And honestly, I always felt myself always more focused on their career and then putting myself on a back burner. So when I got out of that relationship, it was just like I was back at square one again, trying to figure myself out and everything like that. And I'm like, I'm not doing it no more. Yeah. I'm putting myself first, and That's then I have a daughter. Yeah. You know, so it's like it's not just me that okay, if 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 I get out of a relationship or whatever, that I could just keep on moving. No, I have a daughter now. So that's another reason why I kind of like steered away from just being in relationships right now because it's like I don't, I'm not going to just bring yeah, you don't want to, yeah, her. you don't want to bring her around right. anybody. And guys, let's leave that for the guys. Girl. No shade, guys. Yes, no but shade. We're going to leave that for you yes. guys. <laughs> All right. All right. So, so what are you looking forward to the most for your future? Like, what do you want your legacy to be? Because this is a huge platform, and I think that they're going to bring you back. Right? Yeah. Okay. They would be <laughs> foolish not to do so. What do you yeah. like? What do you want your legacy? to be though using this social well, this reality television platform I just want to be able to send a message to women who are in the same stage as me like who's in the same position as me who's single who's been in a relationship who was in love you know I'm not gonna like my child was playing you know and things in life doesn't go the way we expect it sometimes but that you know what I'm saying and but that's that's not to just stay down you know what I'm saying don't let that knock you down keep it moving you know what I'm saying like I want to be able to show like listen People feel like, the, you know, like I said um, on my last interview, people stereotype me because the way I look, the way I dress and stuff like that. So they just automatically think, oh, she has it, or she's this, or she's that, or she's a gold digger, blah, blah, blah. But like, no, like, I'm just like any other woman who's looking for love. I, want, I mean, I, I want love. I want to be a wife. You know what I'm saying? I want a husband and stuff like that. So it's just like, even, like, I just want to be able to have women to be strong. Yeah. And you're going to get through it. You know what I'm saying? Just don't give up on your dreams. Like, yeah, like, you might have started late, but shit. Keep on going. Keep on going. Don't stop. Yeah. You know, like that's my thing. I just want people to see that, you know, I'm not perfect. Mm-hmm. I'm not perfect. I've been through those relationships and all that stuff. You know, people are like, oh, you're so beautiful. You're yeah. so gorgeous. That means absolutely anything. Mm-hmm. A man is going to still do what he wants to do. Absolutely. But you know what? Like, what I realized, like being in, in, in that relationship, it has taught me a lot to just be strong and just be independent and just always, you know, focus on yourself first. Because at the end of the day, you only have yourself. Absolutely. You know? No, I get you 100%. Yeah. I swear, I love watching you. <laughs> so I do. You and you and Stacey are amazing <laughs> as friends, and that's why you don't follow us. Yes, that's and, right I, and she's a, she's so real. She's so she's real. real. She no care what anybody thinks None. about her, and that's what I truly appreciate about you guys and yes. your friendship. How long have you guys been friends? For a while. We've been friends for a couple years now. Mm-hmm. And honestly, and that's what I genuinely love about her. She's mm-hmm. so real, no filter. You know, and it's either you hate or you love her. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But you want that real friend. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Because you don't want people this, you know, that you feel like especially, you gotta, especially you in this industry. Yes, especially there's just so many industry. fake people now. Yeah. Oh my God, nowadays it's just so many fake people. And it's just like when you have that real friend, you just want to be able to just like, you know what? You're going to be around for a long time. I tell her all the time, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> She's not going anywhere. She knows we're it. We're trying to call each other baby mama. Baby mama. She's all that. Girl, we're over here trying to. What are you going to be for Halloween? Girl, we're going to be super, super women and stuff like that. Oh, like, that's cool. We're planning Halloween costumes. That's cool. <laughs> I, I love you guys' relationship. So before we leave, you know, I got to get the tea. Are you, and I think her name is Emily. Oh, Did God. you guys really squash it? Honestly, I haven't What's spoken to Emily since the, since the show. Really? I haven't. You know, um. 
I've known Emily for a very long time. It's been a, it's been a few years. Um, just to even talk about the whole thing that happened between me and her, it's kind of funny because, like, honestly, I really can care less about the whole stuff that the date, the man that we dated, that we mutually dated at one point in time. I really don't care. That nah, tea was piping high. That tea was piping high. And oh. as far as Stacy and Kiappa, what, like, what's that? I don't know. Oh, don't know. We don't know anything. Yeah. I, like, I pray that they got. You know, they made me cry almost a little Why? bit. Why? Yeah. Little, oh, the little meet and greet at the restaurant. Like, oh, thank you. Oh. This, I told and then it went haywire again. I was like, okay. Girl, girl at I'm the done. charity event? I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. But we gotta keep y'all interested. Yes. <laughs> but let everybody know how they can follow you. Yes. On my Instagram, um, it's love Miss Crystal Marie, Miss and my S Crystal Marie, and then Twitter, love Miss Crystal Marie, and Facebook is Miss Crystal Marie. Um, my blog for the um, for social media is Two Moms One Dream. Absolutely, y'all. Yeah. That was Miss Crystal Marie. Thank you so much, Crystal, for hey, coming through. Yeah. The world here radio. It's the day party with yours truly, Kiara. And we're going to get back into this music. And you know what? I'm going to take another picture with Crystal and put her on my Snapchat. <laughs> but let's get back into the music. It's B100. <laughs> Why stay local? local? From the clubs to the radio to the streets. When you can go global. We are the all-new B100 World Hit Radio.